glory to the Emerald Island. Welcome back to another episode, or a new episode, or a new Let's Play that I'm starting called Victoria to Heart of Darkness, The Irish Campaign. Alright everyone, we are starting at the Irish Campaign, where I will be trying to take the nation of Ireland and raise it up to a great power. Where it will be quite easy too, but before that will happen, I will really have to start talking in this voice, cause it is hurting my throat. Oi. Ow, does that, vo does that voice hurt my throat? So everyone, welcome to my new Let's Play of Island. I'm starting today, and um, basically, what are we going to be doing in this Let's Play? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to be doing in this Let's Play. So in this Let's Play, I've decided to do a uh, no bars and no hold back Let's Play. Where in this Let's Play, I'm just going to play it completely real. Like, I'm going to play it completely how I would play it if I was um, doing a actual let's play uh, an actual campaign of this because I know in my French campaign and my Canadian campaign people were like dude why didn't you conquer this or why didn't you conquer that you didn't conquer enough of this you didn't conquer enough blah 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 in those let's plays I'm just gonna point this out right now and state flat out I was not really trying to conquer that much okay my friends let's play I was just trying to be like you know, I was, my sub goals were like trying to make sure that Germany didn't form and like, you know, Poland didn't do anything and, you know, like doing different things here and there with Africa. I wasn't really co focused on like fully conquest and all that kind of stuff. I was kind of like, you know, eh, it's kind of good, it's kind of that, but it really wasn't my main focus. With my Canadian Let's Play, I was only in it because I just, I was just mainly doing it because I wanted to do my Chinese Let's Play, which I highly suggest if you have not checked out any of those Let's Plays, you really should go check out because it was a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun. But yeah, mostly I was con I was mostly focused on the Chinese. I wasn't really focused on any other place. So this let's play I'm gonna show you guys what I can really do with my skills of as a Victorian dude because I'm pretty much feel like I'm a vet of this game and know a lot about. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take Ireland from being just this little nation of 22 in terms of ratings to being a great power, which honestly should take no less than 10 years. So yeah. We're going to begin this let's play with, as we usually do, with me explaining the tabs and everything. So this is Victoria 2, this is the interface, this is everything. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to do our outline goal. So, in production-wise, what are we going to be doing? Well, we're basically doing a lot of things, which I'll get to in a second. Budget-wise, we need to start adjusting it by 5%, I think it is, 5%. And then with that, I can raise this to there and raise this to about right here. I've fit around with this economy before, so I know how this is going to work. This is going to go back down, but this is still going to stay up. Even though it says projected negative 147, once we unpause, it's probably going to be like plus 2 or negative like 20, which is not that bad, especially, especially for an island campaign. Alright, next thing we need to do is work on technology. Technology-wise, what do we need in our country? We honestly don't need anything at this moment, because we're such an advanced culture already due to us having the Great British that only thing I think we might need is ideological thought because if we could have like three different three different national focuses going on at one time that means we could basically just like have all of our state covered at one time and s next we can move on to like policies and our policies in this game are gonna be uh, fairly maybe different or anything like that this time I'm not gonna be looking at our trade policy, religious policy, civilization policy, or war policy the only policy I'm going to be caring about that we always have to get is state capitalism. So, ta-da! That is the only one. So we're going to stay with the Unionist Party and I... There is some reason why the Unionist Party would be very, very funny to have in power. I don't remember why. Somebody in the comments, please tell me why the Unionist Party is very funny to have into power. I, I just, I remember there was some reason, it's, ugh, it's like the tip of my tongue, I don't remember, but it's some reason why the unit's party is fighting, this unit is exiles in its foreign territory, yeah. Yeah, British, get out of here, you guys aren't welcome anymore. Alright, so national focuses, population-wise, we are mostly, so nationality, we are mostly Irish, everyone. We are the Irish blood, we have mostly Irish in our veins, and we have a little bit of British in there, but I want to tell you something. The British aren't an accepted culture in our place. So technically, we don't care about the British, and this doesn't really count. So we are 100% Irish. Yeah! And um, everything else, workforce-wise, we are 88% farmers. We're going to have to start switching that up because um, as the potato famine in our world has taught us, 
Farming extensively does not work out very well, especially if you're farming the same crops. Um, domestic issues, it seems like most of our people are very concerned with laissez-faire and free trade. Maybe I might adopt free trade, I mean, it really doesn't matter if I adopt free trade, but I definitely won't adopt laissez-faire. Never again. I've proven in almost two or three of my campaigns that laissez-faire does not work in almost any setting. I've tried it almost any of these games in some of my own personal games. Laissez-faire, I think, is one of the stupidest, like, games modes in there, because it feels like... Even if you have a lot of capitalists in your country, they don't seem to build up your industry. They build it up so slowly and so stupidly. Like, sometimes I'll see them build up, like, a fancy, luxurious factory when they don't even have a just basic, you know, clothing factory or a basic chair factory before you can start building luxurious goods. Like that. Why? Why? You need to first build up the foundations and then you start building up the rest of it. Anyways, the rest of my ideology is mostly conservative. I like that. Electoral votes, uh, workforce, I mean, this is all standardized procedures, so. And, um, right now we have a good amount of militaris, militancy, not bad, not too, too bad, so we can still deal with it. And what we're going to be focusing on right now is we're going to be increasing our bureaucrats in this little region right here of a national focus. And in this region, we're going to be encouraging our, uh, clergymen, because we want to get our clergymen up to max. And what I'm planning on doing is... Um, basically, I want to make sure that in terms of modifiers, that we have the optimal amount of modifiers in terms of education. Because right now, education modifier is 0 0.63, and that is honestly not good enough for the Canadian... For the Irish, everyone! For the Irish, sorry, everyone. I'm, uh, I'm kind of thinking Canadian right now when I'm thinking Irish, but that's kind of being expected because they're all in the same kind of hemisphere. Well, not really. They're in the same northern hemisphere, but... Yeah, sorry about that, didn't mean to do that, because we're the Irish, we do take offense if you call us Canadian or anything else, but Irish. And I will be taking that to heart. So if I do offend anyone with my mispronunciations, I'm very sorry. Yeah, I should probably warn you guys right now. I may be pronouncing a lot of words, a lot of words wrong, because I have a very bad history with, like, words and with anything but the English language. Luckily, though, Ireland is translated into the English language, so like Waterford, Wexford, Limerick, Limerick, and Cork, they're all easy names, and Lum, and Lunderry, Lunderry, Bedfast, and all these names, all these names are pretty easy, but, but like Kildare, Kildare, and Dublin, they're pretty hard names to do, but otherwise, besides that, I probably will not be pronouncing, I probably will be pronouncing a couple other names wrong, so just be warned right now. Okay, what else will we have to doing? Oh yeah, trade-wise... I'm planning to start our economy off, I am planning on creating a, not a fertilizer, um, company, but a, uh, do, 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 where is it, 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 there it is. I'm planning on creating a cement empire, like, I want to be the main producer of cement in the next coming year, so, look forward to that in my empire. Diplomacy wise, you know, I thought about this for a long time, and, you know, as much as I hate the British, at least that's how I'm pers kind of personifying it, is that we, the Irish, do not like the great British for doing what they did to us, which is basically kind of enslave us and make us do a lot of stupid dirty work, which is what we don't like. I've thought about, you know, making an alliance with the UK, but I feel like the UK would take too dang long. So what I might do, actually, is form an alliance with uh, Le France. No, I don't want to declare war on Le France. Yeah, because they actually, in a couple years, if I actually get my relationship up, they would actually you know, form an alliance. While the Great British are probably going to be, like, on the edge for a very long time, saying, eh, yeah, no. Yeah, we might form an alliance with you, we might not. It, it really does depend, so, you know, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be doing anything like that. I'm just going to be going straight up into it, saying, you know what, if you're not, you're not going to make an alliance with me, I'm not going to be friends with you. Okay. So now we got all that done with, we can finally begin the game. Oi! You know, it's, it's always exciting and somewhat, like, I don't know, I always find it the most fun starting a new Let's Play, because a new Let's Play is where it always begins, and it's always fun to, like, see the new comments, the new people, and the new kind of things going towards me. And by the way, um, my name in this in this is Shredder James, and if you don't know this, don't know my channel, it's Omicron Crew, and I would highly suggest if you like this, this content, please go and, you know, subscribe to go see more, and if you want to, again, comment, because... Commenting really does help me out because then I know that this Let's Play is very popular and that you guys want to see more of it and it is worth my time to actually do it. So, yeah. Let's say that much. So, right now we are, economy is booming past the mark. 
Uh, artisans are doing nothing really, of course. Um, right now we need to be encouraging as many capitalists in our country because capitalism is what we need. We need to be taxing our people though to about halfway percent. That should be good. And how are we doing in our in terms of administration levels? How is this doing? It's almost there. We are wow. Our state efficiency in this region is going up by astronomical levels, so that should be great. In terms of let's see, migration wise, are we having anything wrong? I don't even I don't think in terms of anything else we really have to be worrying about anything else. Yeah, ranking wise, crises. Relationship wise, yeah, we have pretty good relationship with every other place. France, let's get reliance with us. Okay. Okay. Uh, crisis is right. Yeah, there's not really much going on right now in the world. But, yeah, okay. So, yeah, basically this episode is probably not going to be too, too exciting because this is just the first episode. And we actually get a new type of, of newspaper called The Daily. Why? Why do we get a newspaper just called The Daily? Like, there's, there's nothing special about it. It's just The Daily. We, the Irish are so, like, it's so, like, bland. It's called The Daily. Okay. Uh, okay, well, so far this newspaper has not disappointed me as the news of the world did. So, uh, I'll give it a chance, but The Daily. Oh my goodness, that, that, that's like a stupid name for a newspaper. The Daily. The Daily what? The Daily Hemorrhoids? I mean, <laughs> that could be really a bad newspaper if they did not like add anything else. So, uh, what's happening in the world? Let's actually get to it. War between Netherlands and Belgium. Okay, that's typical. Heed, heed. A gigantic storm, whatever. Dinosaur, uh, de democracy in America, uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, so that's, that's the Daily, everyone. We don't know what the Daily is, but it's the Daily. Oh uh, yeah, seriously, a bad name on their part. A bad, bad name. Alright, so let's see. Do we have our first... Yes! We just finished up, as I was saying, that we need to now move our... We need to now remove this national focus and move it up to Ulster, in the region of Ulster, because now we need to start encouraging bureaucrats there, because this is actually the most um, hostile region in terms of, of all of Ireland, because it has some British people in there. In fact, I think that region is primarily British, if I remember correctly. Yes, Ulster is primarily British, yes, but not by much. And over time, I'm hoping to adjust that to make it almost entirely Irish, because we definitely don't want the British to be in our land. That is definitely something we don't want to do. And it's a... Hmm, oh my goodness, this war in Belgium is going to turn into a big, gigantic cascade. And I really have to remember to keep increased relationships, because yeah. Okay, it seems like the... The French have also hated us a little bit more. I think it's because our position's following. So, when our position follows everyone, or falls, that means it's time to go to war with someone. So let's see, who do we want to go to war with? Hmm. Would Ottomans be, would Tunis be a good place to go to war with first? I'm not, I'm thinking about this logically, no. They would not be a good place to go to war first. Johor would probably be the best place to go to war first, because that will instantly give us the raw minerals we need, and usually no one ever spears them. So, this is going to be the first conquest of the new Canadian Empire. Ah. And that just actually got me some negative relationships. I just realized that. And our economy is just kind of going. Okay. Yeah, we're starting to fall behind a little bit. No, there we go. Projected money. Yep. No. Wow, this is like a big, gigantic annoyance right now. Okay. Well, while this is all like trying to go in back and forth, I'm just going to wait for a second. Just have my army just chill here. And what we should be start... Oh! What we should start doing which I'll start right now, is building up our own mili military or our own naval base. Because, as we know, we are the mighty... We are the kind of descendants of the... of the mighty British Empire. And the British are known for their ships. So, let's start building our own ships. So, I'm going to build two of those and two of these. Okay. And those will probably not be done when I finish up and going to go to war against Johor. But we can at least say we have them for future use. And... This is going to be a long conquest, I just realized that. So what I might have to do is go for a smaller target first. So just remember how far you're going to have to travel, because we don't have the Suez Canal yet. Oh yes, they're coming for us everyone! They're coming for us, that means 
those mangy Jehoians I know somehow, some way, they're gonna come after us with boats and ships and somehow planes of mass destruction. Maybe they'll have UFO saucers onto us. I just know they're coming for us. And for new people that are listening to me, this is how I usually talk when that event comes out. Because it's just funny to me to always hear like that that phrase, they're coming for us. Like, how is a nation like Johor gonna be coming for me? They're all the way over there in Asia, Southeast Asia, and they don't even have boats. How would they attack us all the way over here in Ireland? And that, that becomes a point where you're like, yeah, that, that doesn't really work. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's just always fun to me to say that and always fun that. So, it's just, a, it's just a little poking fun. But, anyways, I think this is like the end of the episode. I want to make sure these episodes are very short, very, you know, concise. I want to make sure you guys get this episode today so that we can, you know, so you guys can start commenting, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. But, thank you guys for watching. I am having fun with this let's play in the next episode we will be conquering Johor and then hopefully after that I'll be showing you guys some other strategies I'm gonna be doing in the future. And yeah, with that I'll see you guys. Don't f and I f I mean it guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I will be wa I'm going to be watching you. And I'll be having the classic uh I'll have a classic eyes like somebody like poking at you guys like in the nighttime saying, Hey, did you subscribe? Do you subscribe? Oh man, no, I get annoying. Actually, never mind, never mind. Discount out. Discount out. So everyone, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.